Here we will demonstrate how to create intelligent sets of like objects in the composite model, with which it will be easier to review and visualize our project. Selection sets are useful for saving a group of items that we might want to regularly perform some action on, such as hiding or changing transparency. Selection sets simply store a group of items for later retrieval. If the model changes at all, the same items will be selected when recalling the selection set. That is, there is no intelligence behind this kind of set. Let's go to the selection tree and hold Shift or Control to select many rows at once in the tree. We'll open the Sets window and right-click in the space to choose Add Current Selection. And we'll name this Concrete Framing. Let's make a selection set as well for foundation elements. Another more powerful way to create sets is to use the Find Items tool to search or query for items having a common property or combination of properties in the model database. Search sets work in a similar way to selection sets, except that they are intelligent in that they save search criteria instead of the results of a selection so that we can rerun the search at a later date as and when the model changes. From the Category drop-down, select Item. A common property to search on is the name, but there are many other options as seen here. From the Property drop-down, select Name. From the Conditions, we'll select Contains, meaning we are not looking for an exact match, in which case we would have selected Equals, but instead any name containing Concrete. In the Value field, type Concrete. Click Find All to perform the search. In the Scene area, all the items satisfying the search condition will be selected and highlighted. We should also look around the building to check that all the concrete members we had been searching for were selected. In that way, we know our search was successful. We'll right-click and choose Add Current Search. We can name this All Concrete. Let's perform a search for glazing or windows and add that set called Glazing Panels. From the selection tree, we see that the mullions are going by a name including the word rectangular. What if we use that keyword in a find item search and then add that as a search set titled mullions? We can then organize these sets into their own folders once we start getting longer lists of sets. Suppose we wanted to merge the mullions and glazing into one combined set. Let's see how we could do that. First, we can copy this glazing set from the shortcut menu. Let's rename it accordingly. Then we'll select the two sets by holding the control key so that they are being selected in the scene view. Then right-click the glazing panels copy and choose Update the selection to include all the elements now selected. And there we have created a set that is the amalgamation of the two. In fact, we could have accomplished that set of glazing and mullions in one simple step using Find Items. So from this scene, let's search on both keywords at once, glazing and rectangular. We'll do this by choosing the OR condition option. With those items now automatically found in the project database and highlighted in the scene view, we can save them to a search set. Notice that the glazing from the double doors on the first floor have not been selected. To include those double door glazing panels, we would even need to refine our criteria further by adding yet another keyword. And as you can see, we can leverage the Find Items tool to quickly organize our model into meaningful sets.